Hey Technic fans, it's OSU Harding 1 and welcome to my review of set 42042. This is the Crawler Crane. Guys, this came out in summer of 2015, has 1,401 pieces and it costs about $150 and obviously it is a 2-in-1. I've already done a review of the B model and I, toward the end of this video I will do a quick comparison of the B model compared to the A model with them side by side. But uh, basically in this video guys I'm going to show you uh, a demonstration of the model itself and then talk about some of the pros and cons that it has and give you a few of my ideas. So uh, stay tuned here and we'll take a look at this model. So obviously the first thing we notice about it is just its overall size. It is a very large model and when you've got the entire section of the boom installed here it is a very very big model. So I'm just going to try to give you an overall scope and size of it. But it is very large. It does come with power functions in the box and it uses the large motor and one battery box. It has a very intricate gearbox and one of the neat things that this model does is that it uses the gearbox such that you don't have to shift the battery around in order to get the reverse action which I really like. A lot of times in the Technic models you have to change around the gear, you have to shift over the battery box in order to get the reverse action and this time you don't have to do that. So this model comes with one instruction manual that's been a new trend that I've been seeing lately and I really like that the one big model uh, one big manual instead of the three manuals I like that. There is one part of the build that I was not real pleased with it was kind of um, uh, shaky it's not very securely attached and that is the the cab or the operator station right here right here it's kind of it's not very securely attached it's kind of a weak attachment it's not gonna fall off I don't think but this is the first time I've seen in a Technic model something be so loosely attached it's only got one connection point in the instructions there so it's not very securely attached something else that I do not like and it's not necessarily that I don't like it it's just more of a personal preference but this model comes with a new turntable gear and whenever the gear is not engaged with the controllers, and I'll show you the controllers, but right back here are the two controllers to engage the functions, but whenever the turntable is not engaged you can still rotate it freely. And some people might like that and some people may not, but if you engage the gear there, oh, excuse me, wrong one, there now when it's engaged see it's it's locks it locks it so I feel like uh, I, I don't know that's just something that I, I don't like some people may like that but anyway guys let's do a quick demonstration of the power function this thing is really neat so let's take a look at it I've got a load in the crane here this is one of those this is one of those uh, tumbler wheels off of the uh, the Batman tumbler that's my load that I'm picking up this does not have any power functions it is just a manual uh, you've got to turn the gear here to release and then you turn it back the other way to grip. Okay, so there's no power functions there. So let's do a quick demonstration of the power functions so you can see how this thing works. And then we'll do a quick side-by-side -side with the B model. So here's a quick look at the controller. You've got two levers right here that control your four features. You've got four features here that are shown with decals and obviously the first feature here is this is raises the load uh, via the the string up and down this is what rotates it on the base this is what moves it forward and backwards on the track and then this one here lowers the boom up and down now one thing y'all say here is you can you can engage two features at the same time and it'll do them both at the same time but you cannot engage these two features at the same time since they're they're controlled from the same lever so I can engage this one with this one or this one or I can engage this one with this one or this one and vice versa so you can engage two functions at the same time but it is limited by the fact that one lever controls two functions so let's do a quick demo and see how this thing works so the first thing we'll do is just uh, engage the drive wheel or the tracks and like I said you do not have to shift the gearbox to make it go backwards you just shift the same gear backwards, which I really like how they designed that. Like I said, a lot of times in other Technic models with power functions, you had to switch the battery box. 
and in this case you don't have to do that. The next feature is going to be it rotating along its on the base. And this is like I said, when it's engaged, you cannot manually move it there. So given the size of this model, these next two power functions, I have to move quite a bit further away from the model for you to be able to see it. But this time I'm going to lower the load and the boom at the same time so you can see it, how it works. Now I want to show you two features at the same time. So like I said in the beginning, here are the two models side by side. Obviously the A model is the blue, the original design, and then the B model as I have built in yellow. One thing I want to say is obviously the B model is very, very cool. I highly recommend if you buy the Crane 42042 that you build the B model as well. If you build the A model first and then you decide you're going to take it apart and build the B model, save yourself the time and effort because the base with the tracks and all the drive and everything in the tracks is identical in the B model. I felt like LEGO could have come up with a little bit different design for the B model, but they didn't. And the same thing with the gripper. It's the exact same on both models. This crane was one of the most highly anticipated of the second half sets for 2015. I think it definitely lives up to the hype. The power functions are, are very functional. The build is very cool. I definitely recommend if you got the opportunity to buy this set, to buy it and build it. That's my review of this set this time, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like Lego Technic reviews, guys, go ahead and subscribe. That's it this time, guys. Thanks for watching.